yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that. People are people have a good sense of humor about that on this side of the world. Like it's it's only over like if you go over to maybe Poland and try to pick up somebody with some Putin yeah. humor, you might get yeah, you know, I mean murder. that Ukraine stuff is like me hearing that like Sam and Frodo are struggling in near Rivendell. It's like, not real it, for you at all. Like, it's it's not even vaguely real. I'm not even sure Europe exists. I've never seen it. You ever heard <laughs> the way that they, that every one of those countries talks? Made all up. All jokes aside, all, all jokes aside about like Europe not maybe not really existing. Like, who's to say that any of us exist? You might just be the one guy here. And 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 because of the way time dilation works, it either perceived or, or real time dilation. It doesn't matter which. It, your whole life, your whole existence could have just been this little boop where somebody booted the PC on. So it just like ran all the memory real quick. And you're just that. You're just that. Your little flash of energy that ran through the circuit boards real quick. And and, and everything is, is could none be. of it's real. That thing yeah. about Europe existing. I hope so. I've had that <laughs> thought too. No, I've been to Europe a couple of times. But am mm. I sure... I have right, like I wasn't watching the whole time. They could have taken the plane in great big circles, landed me not too far away from home, and told me <laughs> you stirred a memory. <laughs> you stirred a memory. I went there by plane. I went back by boat, and they could have still fooled me. I don't know. <laughs> just circling over the Great Lakes. <laughs> just <laughs> you stirred a memory. I forgot to write this down in my in my stone journal the other day. So there's this British reality show from I don't know when the early 2000s or whatever, and what they did is they ran a national con contest this is not long after like virgin and other start people started going to space and by going mm -hmm. to space i mean like you know they go to the upper atmosphere look around yeah. and come back um so they, they announced we're sending i don't remember how it was four to eight brits to fucking space you're going up and we're gonna ha and they ha they're, they're, ha they're gonna have a reality show to fucking pick the the, the, the person and we're gonna go through astronaut training and that's part of the show and they do. They have this national fucking thing, just like American Idol, where they get all these people together and they boil it down to the best of them. And they uh, they put them in, an, in the plane to fly to Russia to do their training. It's it's partnered with the Russian government. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of that stuff was back then. You could pay the Russians like 20 mil and they'll take you up to Mir, uh, to the space station or whatever. Well, they put them in the plane and then they did circles around the UK for about six hours. And then they landed them at a at a base you've probably seen if you've seen any action movies before. It was in The Rock. It's where they stole the VX from. It's uh -huh. this impressive military base they train in over in the UK. And they shoot a lot of movies there. Well, they land them there, complete with Russian guards and dogs barking. And then they train them up to be astronauts for a few <laughs> weeks or months or so. You know, silly stuff's mixed in, though. And they're always like, why do they have us learning this? This is silly. This doesn't make sense. It might be a gag. Oh, that guy gets voted right off or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Mind, mindset on the show. So then they're like, all right. Just, uh, they bring a scientist in and he explains to him how uh, once you understand gravity, you can control it because we've got to explain why <laughs> when we get to space, there ain't going to be, there's still going to be gravity, right? Because we can't fix that. So long story short, they fake take these Brits to outer fucking space eventually in a fake spaceship. And they think they're in a fake spaceship up in space. And then one of them's like, I don't know about all this. Do you think we're really in space? And they're like, <laughs> Of course we're really in space, you <laughs> nit. <laughs> oh, harum farum. <laughs> you need a couple plants in there. Dude, it was so fucking good. They they tricked those people what, into what thinking they called? were in I can't remember the name of it, but if you search like British fake space show, I'm sure you'll you'll nail That's it. That's hysterical. <laughs> i had never heard of it That's until so i watched some youtube video about it the other day and i i was dying laughing watching the the clips of them like training to be astronauts and like just just them buying when the scientists like pointed at like a chalkboard and explained how there would be gr how they could control gravity and they had like I a gravity it generator it's called space cadet Space a, Cadets. That's a yeah, great that's a name. Good name. That's a good name. That's also yeah. what you call <laughs> yeah, people. retired. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's the new show for me. Maybe I'll watch Space Cadets. Yeah. I'll, you know, that sounds infinitely better than Succession. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to watch that, Space I, Cadets. I, I, I tried. Like, it, it is a show. You know, when you watch a show and you sincerely really try to like it, like, I, I found myself in like episode five doing that thing where I'm like, this is fucking stupid. No, no, like, come come on. It's got Brian Cox in it. Like, keep watching it. And it was last night I finished episode six and I'm like, there's, this is not good. This All is right, just I've got a, a bad dialogue. 
That All right, so, so maybe uh, there's a show on Hulu called The Old Man, um, and uh, it's uh, that's that's pretty good. I only got three or four episodes into it, and I got sidetracked, but not because it wasn't good, just because I got sidetracked. Oh, Jeff Bridges, I love him. Jeff Bridges is a star. He's he's on the screen eighty percent of the time, and the villain is uh, John Lithgow. Uh, John Lithgow, Harry. Man, I love him too. This is great. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's got these two uh, Rottweilers who are like his super duper trained like loving companions and uh there's a scene a couple episodes in where somebody gets the best of him they, they, they kidnap him or whatever and uh, he's in the back seat all handcuffed up well somehow or another he like manipulates and kicks the guy and the, the fucking truck wrecks and they have this ridiculous fight where he's fighting handcuffed and he's like 75 so it's it's not going his way but he's still like this really well-trained this. old man and he's got a six-pack by the way jeff bridges has a six-pack somehow He's like man, 70. Him, man. He looks strong. And uh and, and like finally it's like shit. Jeff just got his ass whooped. And the guys like, "Are we done?" And the Rottweilers show up. They've been running the whole time. They've been running the whole time cuz this guy's been drove away with Jeff Bridges. They've been chasing <laughs> the dust of that car for 20 <laughs> fucking minutes and they just caught up. <laughs> and now they're ready great. to kill. <laughs> yeah, ready to kill. Yeah, it's it's great. Uh I was enjoying the show thoroughly until I got sidetracked by something. I can't remember.